fashion, fashion, media flashes, Vogue, Paris, edgy fashion, 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 high fashion, we like fashion, I am fashion, 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 media flashes, Vogue, Paris, edgy fashion, 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 high fashion, we like fashion, I am fashion. Hi, my name is Oscar Benjamin of Let's Talk. And I'm Arlene Barshinger with Let's Talk. And we are here with a group of fantastic people from all over for Fashion Week, for Sacramento Fashion Week. So do you want to start on your end? Oh, by all means. Well, hello again. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. And you run PR, correct? I do PR for the Junior League of Sacramento. I do PR for the Junior League of Sacramento. I'm Christy Gong. Christy, okay. Let me start with Christy, okay? And Will, I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> Christy, as a, P, as a PR, as an individual PR, Describe, describe to me exactly your position and what you do for the what you do for the league. Well, I'm part of the Junior League of Sacramento, and this year, as we partner with Sacramento Fashion Week, it's our first year, so I'm kind of the liaison between my organization and Sacramento Fashion Week, and I'm here to help promote the Junior League's message um, and the mission of promoting women within our community and volunteerism and. Uh, it's been a great, it's been a great partnership so far. Has this been your first year with the in this particular position? For uh, it's actually my second year in PR marketing for the Junior League, but it's our first year with Sacramento Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. Now, along with you for the for the Junior League is Amy, correct? Yes, I'm Amy Gillum, current president. And then can you, and we talked to you before, but can you tell um, this audience what you do for the Junior League? Well, the Junior League is a training and volunteer organization for women, and so we were so excited to have Will approach our organization to be the beneficiary this year because Sacramento Fashion Week's mission and our mission are so similar in that we're both volunteer organizations training our members to go on and do things in the community where Sac Fashion Week, their core team and their interns are learning the skills for fashion and possibly pursuing careers in that industry. So now this is a great time to introduce Will and Micah then, since she mentioned them. Do you mind doing the honors with Will, starting with Will? Oh, most definitely. Will, please tell, detail your connection to the group. And give me what is exactly you bring to this group and who, who are you to the group? How are you connected with everybody here? So I'm the uh, creative director and co-producer of Sacramento Fashion Week. Um, I'm involved with a lot of the branding, marketing, mm -hmm. public relations, as well as uh, strategic partnerships within our organization. Yeah, and, and Micah, now if you'll tell everybody your full name and what you are doing with Sac Fashion Week. Well, my name is Dwayne Micah Ram. Um, everyone in production calls me Micah. Um, I, I pretty much organize the whole event with the help of Will, because I can't do everything on my own, um, and I pretty much concentrate on the designers and models for the production. Mm -hmm. So now, um, I wanted to ask you guys, what has been the most rewarding thing for you guys, and we'll start from here and work our way down, uh, with being part of SAC Fashion Week? Well, the most rewarding thing for me is to see the community actually come out and support the event. We've been doing this since 2006, and to see it grow this big and have the community come out and support it, that's, that's, it makes you feel good. So now you've been doing this since the beginning? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Well, this is our first year working with Sacramento Fashion Week, and it has just been such an amazing experience to see how organized they are. And with it being all volunteers, putting on this week-long production is very impressive. And this year with the Boutique Fashion Show, we have some of our members as models this year. So we're really excited about that on Thursday. And with it being all volunteers, you know everybody's really passionate about it. They're here because they love it, not because they have to be. I think my favorite part is, you know, the, like we were just saying, the the, pa the volunteers and the passion behind this very exciting event this week is has been made it so much more fun to be involved in this. Um, you know, as a junior league, we, we are volunteers, and it's kind of a fun thing for us to do every, uh, you know, this time of year, and we're just really excited to be here. And the whole team has been great. I love working with Maria Serquin, who's the PR person, and Will, and Micah, and Carrie, and uh, it's been great, great new friendships. Can you also add to that, Will? 
Yeah, I think for us, um, I'm really excited to be working with a lot of new partners in the community and really seeing people, uh, you know, some of our talent develop in this town, as well as what Mike was saying in terms of the, the city and everybody else supporting. It's really important for us to see Sacramento come together and really help develop our city. Well, thank you. So now, um, what do you guys, what would you guys like to see happen from all this event? Well, I, I like to see that I want people to continue to support the event. I want to see it grow even bigger. Uh, this is the first week that it's actually a full week. Uh, we could add more um, events to, to the week. It's just right now we need um, support from sponsors to help take it to that next level. So you hear them, everybody. Sponsors, sponsors, and they're getting big, and people are really watching, so you better jump on board while you can. And then what would you say would be, would you like to see Well, I just would love to see this event grow and expand even more. The boutique shows and the showcase shows Friday and Saturday have sold out, so it's, it's amazing, and we're just so excited to be a part of it. Um, I think moving forward, I think this event is just going to get bigger with every year. I think from what I've seen uh, with Sacramento Fashion Week in the past, every year it's getting bigger and bigger, more exciting. Um, and you know, with the Junior League, you know, I think that this has definitely raised our profile in the community. And so, with these two organizations working together, we'll be able to do something great. Would you like to add that, Alison? Well, since everybody said pretty much the same thing, yes. you know, I, I think I'd like to see a little bit more integration in the future with other, with the schools, with other organizations that we have in, in town, uh, similar to like the Junior, junior League, and uh, really make an impact in terms of the other core goals of, you know, helping stimulate our local economy and, and developing the future leaders of Sacramento. I have, I have noticed, this is a question for everybody here, I have noticed that Sacramento is slowly but surely starting to explode as a as a go-to scene for fashion for film for the arts in general so what do you how do you see fashion week contributing to this explosion in my opinion i think it's an opinion of many let's start with you i think uh fashion week what it's done is it's um it's kind of motivated a lot of the talent in town to really come out and say you know what i want to be a part of that i want to i want to have my exposure uh, I want some more awareness brought to me, and so I think that's what, what we're doing is really providing them a platform to do so. Nice. Well, I, you know, before I moved to Sacramento, I've lived in some other big cities like London and, and Los Angeles, and where they do have very big fashion weeks. And, you know, it's great to bring some of that feel to Sacramento, but still have the Sacramento feel for it. So it's very local and accessible. We have our local boutiques here. We have our local community organizations here. And I think that that makes our event very unique. That's pretty telling because as a person that's worked in those sizable markets, you decided to come to Sacramento to bring that unique sensibility to Sacramento. Right? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed that. <laughs> oh, I walked all the way. Sorry, don't walk in front of the camera. <laughs> well, I, I just think Sacramento, has, the community itself has a real passion for the arts, and I think that with Micah and Will bringing this event to our town. It's just continuing to expand our arts community that is so passionate. Well, Sacramento is the capital, so let's make it the fashion capital. Yeah, you know, we're, and we're, if you think about it, we're a lot of the lead when it comes to politics. The nation watches California because we seem to lead the nation in a lot of decisions that are being made. So why not fashion and entertainment at the same time? Right. You know? But here's one thing that I have to commend is that you guys, every year you guys still keep coming back. You still keep going. I know the first year had to have been really hard and probably very frustrating to try and get people on board. And yet you're still here every year not giving up and still going on and I find that very commendable that well, you guys you. are doing this. I have to say that. So thank you so much thank for sharing much. with us and for um, coming and talking to us. I am yes, fashion, 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 media flashes, Vogue, Paris, edgy fashion, 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 high fashion, we like fashion, I am fashion. I'm a super, 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 super duper model, photo shoots, edgy shoes, just a Billboard!
vintage, retro, funky, glam. Fashion, fashion, media, flashes, 